holy God almighty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just saw that. We just saw that. Will Smith smacked the ish out of Chris Rock. <laughs> like, man, that's the best way I can describe this. I could use a lot of colorful language, but we're trying to cuss less. But here's the truth of the matter, man. Will Smith smacked the fire out of Chris Rock. The West Philadelphia born and raised in the playground where I spent most of my days smacking the ish out of comedians. What? Okay, okay, okay. Let's get serious right now, right? Everybody saw that video. Everyone saw that video. I might post it inside this, uh, you know, I might post it here, might not, who knows, whatever. You guys all saw it. I mean, it leads to the question is, who's in the wrong here, okay? The most obvious thing is, yes, it's Will. Why would you go on a live stage and smack the fire out of another grown man who is paid to crack jokes? But, yo, let's, let's pull this back a little bit. Let's pull this back a little bit. There's clips circulating around that Will Smith was cracking jokes. Not Will Smith, my bad. That Chris Rock was cracking jokes on Jada in 2016. Guess what? That's what he's supposed to do right and for me i'm thinking no one the first thing i thought when i saw this this is totally fake okay saw multiple videos multiple angles yeah he smacked that nigga he smacked him he smacked him square in his face real talk you know what i mean and then i was like okay this could have been scripted yes why because a few like 30 minutes later <laughs> will smith wins an award for best actor for king richard i watched king richard he deserved that oscar but at the same time, I'm like, bruh, what? What? <laughs> like, didn't everybody know Will was going to win this? And Will for himself, why you have to go out of character like that for real? And then I realized why. It's because everybody was talking smack about Will and Jada for the past two years. That was a two-year slap. Okay? That was a two-year smack. And it's no coincidence there was Chris Brown. He wouldn't do this to Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Ricky Gervais. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Ricky Gervais getting, sm getting smack up like this. Right? I'll say this. Chris Rock did, held it like a G. He took it and he actually kept on going. Yes, he was a little befuddled because you just got the West Philly smacker. You know, you got Philly cheesed in the head. You got, you got a double dose of this pimping from... Will, I'm a smack a bitch, <laughs> Smith. <laughs> yes, he was smacking. That was a two year slap. That was a two year slap, man. That's why he did it. That slap was supposed to go to August Alcina and all the other boyfriends that Jada has. That smack was meant for Tupac, okay? There's a meme going around of Jada saying, if this was Tupac, he would have shot him. Yes, yes, Tupac would have shot him. Tupac is an over, was an over emotional dude. That's why he unfortunately passed away over emotional. Same thing with Will, because I think Will knew he was going to win this award and decided, hey, I'm going to shut off the Will character. OK, and I'm going to be the Will Smith from Philly, from West Philly, where they get busy. Let me tell you something, man. Just Google the home homicides in what in Philadelphia in 2021. Yup, 500. Insane. I'm telling you, Philly dudes don't play. And ironically enough, Questlove won an award right after. Look, let's look at the other angle. The other angle is a man protecting his woman, right? Jada has a condition, alopecia. Her hair is falling out. She doesn't have cancer. But ultimately, who knows the conversation they've had? Who knows what they've been through? Will and Jada, right? And that it triggered Jada because Will was laughing at first. And then Jada gave that look like, oh, damn. And then Will said, I'm bringing out Philadelphia Will, Philly Will. Now, look, I also think, you know, Chris Brown, Chris uh, Rock, not Chris Brown. <laughs> Chris Brown would have swung back. <laughs> Yo, but for real, though, Chris Rock, ultimately, he's doing what he's supposed to do, which is joke and crack on people, Right. But sometimes you have to also face the music, face the consequences. You're going to say something that people are going to get offended by. And you don't get paid to really do jokes. You get paid for the attempt. Dave Chappelle said that. You get paid for the attempt. And in that attempt, 
you triggered Jada, Jada who looked at her quote unquote husband and said, hey, you going to do something about this? She didn't say it audibly. She said it with her face. She said it with her mannerism. She said it with her eyes. And Will picked up what she was putting down and decided, hey, I'm going to go on live TV and smack the fire out of this nigga. Right? For me, I think it's, I get it. I understand. Will is clearly in the wrong, I, but I get it. And I think that Chris, that Chris Rock is a bit in the wrong here because, you know what I'm saying? He hit a target that was sensitive. He hit a target that was soft. And when you hit a target that's soft, that hurts more. This dude was literally cracking on Javier Bardem and Pen- Penelope Cruz, and they were fake laughing like, oh, it's Hollywood. They're all fake. But that was one of the realest moments. And, hey, might come out there scripted. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm calling it now. But if it ain't, Will and Chris are going to go to the top in their career. Let's see what happens. Give this a week. Let's see what happens. I think that Will has reached a level of power where he's super comfortable to smack a dude and super comfortable to let it side. But not today. He he channeled the spirit of Tupac Shakur with that smack. He channeled two years of rage with that smack. Hey, tell me what y'all think. Like the video and tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. Big Baby J, I'm out.